Happy Halloween. I hope you're having a spoopy day. Um, and if you don't follow me on Tumblr or co-host, you're probably a bit confused as to why I've drawn myself as Medusa. Or just the Gorgon, but you know. Uh, this is actually a tradition I've kept up. Every October for the past five years, I changed my profile picture to a drawing of myself as some sort of ghoulie. I just don't do it on YouTube, sorry. Uh, in 2018, and yes, 2018 was five years ago, feel old yet, I was a jack-o'-lantern. The next year, I was a skeleton. 2020, I was a zombie, but not anywhere publicly because of a very silly promise made on Twitter. In 2021, I was that purple imp emoji, and I have to make it very clear, not the sexy one, the lame one. In 2022, I was a vampire, and this year, I decided on a gorgon, though I have just been saying chillin' as Medusa in every social media alt text I've written. As for why I'm drawing this piece, it's also tradition. For the past few years, I've drawn alternative versions of my profile picture for the day of Halloween. So, the vampire and the imp got really cool front-facing variants, and this year is no different. Uh, for this year's piece, I was torn between two different ideas, um, and I ended up going with neither. Uh, so this one you're seeing is actually the third idea I came up with. The first one was this Gorgon version of me turned to stone. The only reason I didn't end up going with that was because the only pose I could think of for it would be the last form you ever take from Gravity Falls, which I did a couple years ago for a winter drawing, and I really didn't want to repeat myself. The second idea I had was to reference artwork of the severed head of Medusa. The issue is I didn't want to just draw the head on its own because that was pretty gruesome, and I don't know who I would have drawn as Perseus had I done the alternative. So I took a look back in the previous two years and decided to stick to the tradition of trying to make a more intimidating drawing of that year's monster. And I figured the scariest thing about Medusa is staring into her eyes. Also, Kubrick stare. Um, so I sketched out this drawing before I started recording the speed paint and decided to make the snakes less, well, blendy inny. I got a few DMs on October 1st, wondering what I was supposed to be. So for this, I decided, hey, I'll make their eyes glow and I'll give them a better silhouette. And then I added a multiply layer over top the whole thing, which made it just a whole lot less clear. <clears throat> Um, oh, fun fact, uh, if you look at the glasses she's holding, with she referring to the Gorgon version of me, uh, the glasses are cracked, which is also part of the tradition. Uh, there's a glass break theme to the imp one, I don't know why it was there, but I carried that over to the vampire one, and so I guess the glasses are always cracked now? I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm wrapping up with the drawing right now, so I'll wrap up this commentary. I just wanted to make a video for Halloween, and I figured I was going to draw this anyway, so I might as well make a speed paint out of it. If you're curious about the 1000 subscribers special, I haven't really been able to work on it, you know, school and all, but it'll be out as soon as it's done. And that's the drawing. The high quality version of the file can be found on my DeviantArt co-host and Tumblr, all of which will be linked in the description. Have a wonderful day, even if it's not Halloween when you're watching this. Uh, okay, bye.